My peoples, my peoples! Good morning and happy Tuesday! It is Papa Zidi here. Before we get into this, I just want to say thank you everybody who commented on my last video. Thank you for the condolences. That really meant a lot to me and I appreciate it. And guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for that. So I'm not going to get all mushy and soppy and somber. Let's get positive and let's talk about what you're looking at right here. What is this? Well, this is Last of Us multiplayer. And this is the opening screen where you've got all your different things. And we're just going to start talking about what you're seeing right here. And I'm going to get into the gear up a little bit. And uh, then we'll show you some gameplay so you have an idea of what, you know, what it is you're looking at. Because I am going to be posting some multiplayer gameplay from this. So first and foremost, top left corner, week four, day two. That is how many matches that you've played. All right, seven days in a week. So there you go. Then you've got uh, in the middle there, or just underneath that, in the middle, you see I have 64 survivors. They're all healthy, no hungry, no sick, and then needed per day. Those are parts needed per day to keep those survivors healthy. That is your clan. And really, the only thing that this does is unlocks, um, you know, kind of cosmetic uh, customization type things. Uh, you'll see on the right, it's scrolling up and down. Aiden Rogers is setting rabbit traps good for you Aiden um, but it also has uh, missions it seems like missions become available just kind of randomly and that was the latest uh, mission look at all, all those completes yay so underneath that off to the left you see I have supply raid highlighted that is one of two gameplays that are available in multiplayer right now supply raid is kind of like a team deathmatch um, type game where you start off all, all the gameplays are 4v4 and you start off with 18 tickets so that means you have to kill the other team 18 times total, and that's how you win the match. And that match is timed out at, I believe, 12 minutes long. And then Survivors, this is my preferred uh, game mode. Uh, this kind of acts like a uh, uh, search and destroy type game mode where you've got the first team to win four rounds by killing off all members of the opposing team wins the match. So let's get, up, uh, let's get into uh, gear up right now. This is your... Your loadouts, you've got four custom loadouts right now. You've also got down here, you can see some preloaded loadouts. And these contain some perks and some weapons that are not unlocked until later on in multiplayer. Let's just look at my custom loadout four. Ooh, it's got a point system. Does that sound familiar? Now, you start off with 10 points. I have 11 because I'm super cool and I unlocked recently... Uh, an extra point slot to give. So there is some unbalance a little bit um, when you start unlocking these points and you're playing against people who don't have them unlocked yet. Um, but you've got a, you know, a, a, a small firearm and a large firearm. Uh, you can see a shorty is like just a mini shotgun and there are points subscribed to them. And then your large firearm down here uh, you can see the bow I don't have unlocked yet but I can access that in one of the pre-made loadouts and then these are your perks down here and it's pretty extensive there's a bunch of different perks and they all level up and then in turn cost more points to use and you have four slots for those you can see I, I just opt for these two right here right now and then down here there's an in-game economy now when we get into some gameplay footage, I'll talk about that a little bit more, but you can buy ammo, buy armor. Uh, you can also use that money if you put it in a slot, like I have, to buy extra weapons. So I have the assault rifle um, waiting on the, uh, the flamethrower to get unlocked. That'll be pretty cool when that happens. And so that's pretty much it for your loadouts. You've also got one-use boosters, and these are gained by increasing your clan amount from that first screen. They look like little dots in a petri dish up there on that first screen that I showed you. So this is how you get the one-use boosters, and just like they say, they are for one use and one use only. Um, I'm a hoarder, obviously, so I don't, I don't use these a whole lot. But let's just get into some gameplay right now. All right, there's scavengers in the area. Stick close and keep an eye out. And now for the fun stuff. Okay, so these little white things up on the mini-map on the top left corner, uh, apart from giving you the time left in this round, those little white indicators are those little boxes. Within those boxes are randomly generated parts and equipment that you can put together 
to make things like grenades or like these nail bombs. There's smoke grenades, there's health kits, there's Molotov cocktails. You can enhance a melee weapon with different things if you are lucky enough to find a melee weapon in one of those boxes. And as you can see, it's a third-person shooter, and I'm just playing super aggressively and flanking around. I saw somebody up there in front of me. So I'm just going to rush this guy up here and try to flank him a little bit, get some shots off on him, One put him down, collect the parts, and sometimes they'll have, if they have the same gun as yours, and oh, oh no! Get him, Daddy, get him! No and arrow guy! Oh, and so he takes me out. But here come my buddies, and they take him out. And as you can see, I'm down, but I'm not out. I'm crawling around looking for help, and yay, somebody comes and helps me. So you can be knocked down, but you can be revived. And the game goes on for you. And you can see also underneath that left um, mini-map um, how many players are left on the other team. Next scene here, let's show you how to craft something. I've got enough parts, looks like, for a health okay, kit, so I'm going to make myself it. a little health kit. This also gives you bonus parts as well when you're crafting stuff. So here's another little random mystery box full of goodies. I'm going to gather up all that stuff, and let's see, what can I make? Ah, smoke bomb. Let's do it. Smoke bomb, Ready. engage. Now you switch between weapons and different equipment and stuff uh, using your D-pad. All right, so right now I've accrued um, quite a bit of parts, and I can go ahead and purchase that gun, that assault rifle. Okay. If I had a little bit more, I could have gotten some extra ammo, but I didn't. So, But I've got 10 shots, 15 on my uh, primary main weapon slot, and then a little pistol. Ice. And that blue indicator right there is, uh, is just more parts, and you'll see if uh, he had a revolver, I have a revolver, so I can pick up some ammo from him. Ooh. Now I've got armor on. That's what I purchased just there. Watch my back. Collecting, collecting, collecting. And looks like we're going to make a little bomb here. Now, okay. these act as grenades. They're not terribly... Um, you can't throw them terribly far. You'll see here... Coming up, I try to chuck one, try to make it all the way inside that truck, all the way down there, because there's somebody hiding there, but no such luck. Nope. And we're just going to let this last little clip play out. You have to stick with your teammates. You'll notice the reticle. There's a, like a second or two lag where it gets smaller. There's some melee fighting right there. My guy's down. He's running away. No chance, buddy. Game over. <laughs> Let's get into some customization. And here we have our customization screen because what first-person shooter would be complete without some customization? So you've got hat, mask, helmet, gestures, emblem. Emblem? And emblem location. Yes, you can make dick pics for all of you people out there who like making dick pics. I'm sure you'll find a way to make a dick pic in this game too. Hats. I like the Southwester with the goggle action, but you've got a bunch of different things you can uh, throw on top. I think white or anything really bright would just bad because it kind of gives you away. I don't know about that straw cowboy hat at all, but you get the idea there. And then you've got different masks. I like the goggles because I think they look kind of, I don't know, steampunkish and whatever. But you can have a surgeon mask if you're afraid of SARS. Little bandana action. Uh, the default is just nothing. But then you unlock these with the, uh, again, with the population and uh, just playing through the game and surviving, you know, week 11, day 7. Uh, and then you got your helmets as well. 50 Q, spiked helmet. I like the military joint. Uh, gestures. Yeah. Bring it in for the real thing. <laughs> uh, and then again, you got four layers to an emblem. There's my attempt at an emblem. Um, and then emblem location, you can switch it around. I like it on my torso right there. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the basics here of little uh, Last of Us multiplayer. Look forward to some multiplayer gameplay action on my channel coming up here in the new future. In the meantime, this is Papa ZD saying have a great Tuesday, and I will see you next time. Peace!